This is Eric Mother from Mother.com. Let's take a look at Tesla, which is showing a superior, powerful move over the last couple of months. Right now, trading up about 16% for the day alone. And this is a clear and perfect example of the power of RSI 69.1. It is almost in our face. And you'll notice how the stock has behaved and the response in terms of momentum and direction and keep in mind when the stock moved above the 69.1 threshold on the monthly in December it was trading let's call it in the mid 300s somewhere around there take a look at the weekly that was the monthly here the weekly again we can see it recaptures and moves above the 69.1 threshold. Again in December, that's the price breakout there at about 350. And it has remained above the threshold. And that is why we are seeing this powerful, powerful move. Now, interestingly enough, or even to confirm the power on the daily We've stayed above 69.1 since the December move here. During that breakout. And we continue holding and defending that 69.1 threshold. And as a result of that, you can see that momentum has just become almost unsustainable. Yes, at some point, there's going to be a massive reversal. That's just how these things go. But for now, we can see it here and appreciate the power of RSI 69.1. And we can see that also on the two hourly, the stock's been holding above 69.1 since late January. And in fact, it's been pretty much revisiting the 69.1 threshold throughout the month or at least going back actually to December of 2019. And every time on the two hour, it jumped back above 69.1. You can see there was a fresh pickup in momentum. So this can also be used for short term swing trading. As you can see, the evidence is undeniable in my opinion and of course we can see most recently here now if we go to the monthly chart we can conclude that as long as the monthly is holding above 69.1 then this is a stock that should remain stable to bullish Now, remember it is early in the month. It would not surprise me that by the end of this month, the stock is negative for the month. And I'm sure that sounds improbable. But remember, even this move could have been improbable as far as the potential for it happening. So, it would make sense that if there is going to be a strong reversal, then it would make sense that the opposite move on the way down is of equal magnitude and pace. Otherwise, if you're bullish, really what you want to insist on is the stock remains above 69.1. At least what that can do is even with pullbacks, it can be shallow pullbacks within this range with potential for higher prices with a future breakout as long as the RSI is above 69.1. So we can see here the high for the day. The stock is trading with a high for the day at 940-ish. Now keep in mind at the end of January, this is what the chart looked like. The high there was at 350, no 360 or 353. Now, it would not be out of the realm of possibility that this RSI ends up showing uniform activity rejection back below that threshold number. 
the 69.1 RSI level. So if that is to take place, then by the end of the month, the stock should have by then reversed with a strong move, negative for the month. And if it leaves the RSI looking with a 69.1 uniform activity rejection, then expect there to be a massive change in momentum and we see a massive drop. Now keep in mind, there's also another view which I should touch on here is whenever a stock has this type of an explosive run, what frankly is a dream run, is this also can be what we can call a generational high. What I mean by that is the next pullback will mean the stock would not visit this level for years and years to come. So sometimes these dream moves that take place in a squeezed or concentrated time period can actually be the end. And what you end up seeing in the years to come, and I mean years, is sideways at best and down for the most part. Since this is the biggest continuous point move in this stock's trading history, biggest ever, I would conclude here more than likely, and here is all the data, it would appear to me that it might take a minimum three to five years after this move for the stock to digest these gains. And that's the minimum in my, in my opinion. So I would say taking profits around here makes a lot of sense. I keep in mind the stock might even go higher, but I'm saying this move when it ends might be the highs for this stock in a generation. This is Eric Moabe from Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-C-S.